Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again with Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, in this one right here, uh, we have a very special side quest. Uh, we have a gift from the gods. A huge rock has come tumbling out of the sky and has crashed to earth in front of the medium pyramid. Bayek is interested in finding it. Alright, so, uh, we need to reach the crash site. We need to explore the tomb and then solve the sundial puzzle. Okay, so I'm going to show you where it is on the map. Oh, well, it used to be there. Uh, you'll find it at the Saraquara Gnome. It'll be a green... A, a green... Green... Um, Green exploration mark side quest. It's probably going to be right around here. It's going to be a little bit closer to the first blood side quest. Okay. Now, the first thing you'll be doing, um, you'll be closing in on the crash site locations. That's your first objective. Here we go right over here. We're just going to quickly interact with the fallen star. All right, and then. You, you'll need to go to the tomb. Oops. And it'll automatically go to a quick little scene here. The number 15 will represent a big number. This number seems important. Alright, so what you'll need to do... You'll need to solve the sundial puzzle, and you must have arrows for this one. Actually, let me make sure there were here. Okay, we are. Now, what you'll need... Oh, and somebody's online. So what you'll need to do is use the Dawn and Dusk uh, uh, meditation here. You have to use it, well, either once or twice, wh whichever time of day you're at. So if you're in the daytime, you have to go to the nighttime once, and then go back to day. Now, we have numbers 1, 3, and 3 five popping up here. The number is 15. So you have to follow a specific code. So first of all, we'll start with shooting five. It is reacting. Then your next number will be three. You have to shoot the crystals though. Okay, so five plus three, that's eight. And then go over here. That's number nine. Then go back to shooting five again. That's 14. And then shoot one again. There you go, 15. Light shining up to the gods. Byra, what have I done? Oh, that's I a tough frozen. Thank heavens. Alright, so again, I'll tell you the code after we go, or in other words, after we finish up the side quest here. So right now, we're going to reach the tomb under the medium pyramid. Oh, I keep in the wrong one. And would you look at that, the door is finally open. This looks cool. Oh, you doorkeepers who guard your portals, who swallow souls and who gulp down the corpses of the dead. What a journey I have made. The things I have seen. I am but one of you.
All, all I can say is OMG. OMG. That looked cool. That looked cool. So we managed to get three legendary items out of all that. So let's let's take a look at the gear. Um okay. Okay, good. PVR is not frozen, so that's good. Oh, well, thank heavens for that. Alright, so uh we have a legendary mount, which was Qua. Um of course the uh, the legendary Chocobo from uh, from Final Fantasy fifteen. So so remember the walkthrough I had back um, when we had the Assassin's Festival for Final Fantasy XV? When, um, when Assassin's Creed Origins did the crossover to Final Fantasy XV? This is now the other way around. In Assassin's Creed Origins, we had a bit of a crossover from Final Fantasy XV. This, th th this to me, I'm, I'm going to rate this a 5 star. No ifs, ands, or buts. If, if anybody's questioning a 4 star or below, you're deeply mistaken. This this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, I think we had a. <coughs> Sorry for that. Oh, we also had an ultimate blade as well. So that's a level 31 right there. And we also had the Zedric legendary shield. Man, oh man. This looks wicked cool, folks. It is looking cool. Oh man, absolutely incredible! I, I will admit that might be one of our best missions in Origins so far. Absolutely amazing. So again, from the Gift of the Gods side quest, by completing this, you get the sword, you get the shield, and you get the the Quay Legendary Chocobo Mount. All three of your items will be gold legendary items. Absolutely incredible. Now I know I missed out a little bit of it because I didn't know it at first, so I had to look it up on YouTube. So that's why just a just a tiny little bit was missing. But the most important one had to be solving that puzzle. Now again, I will put the code in the description box below on how to solve that sundial puzzle. And again, you will need the dawn and dusk meditation skill to do it. If you don't know how to do it, you just have to hold the back button until you get to the daytime. The daytime is the best best time to do it. So the code is 53151. Again, it's it it is 53151. And the reason why the code is in, there was a clue to that door. The Roman numeral is 15. That is the answer to the puzzle. There you go. All right. So, and again, if you just follow my technique perfectly, you should be entering the door. No problem. Get 1500 XP. Quest over. Done deal. All right. So that will do it. Thank you again for joining us on this very special side quest and the special Final Fantasy 15 crossover edition of the Assassin's Creed Origins mission. Thanks for watching us. We've seen... Arden, we've seen Bahamut, two legendary characters from Final Fantasy XV. That was incredible. Again, I'm done talking. Thank you for joining us, everybody. See you next time. Take care.